<clears throat> Hello and welcome again. <coughs> Sorry, welcome back, I mean, to the Tristan channel. Or welcome if you're new to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, then I'd just like to add that the introduction theme bit is um, new. Um, if you go back to my other, go back to my older ones, you'll see. Oh. But if you're already subscribed to my channel, I hope you like it. It's, um, I want to thank different change. It from... I want to thank to change. You know, different change. Yeah, I wanted different, so I changed it. Um, <clears throat> and basically, I can't keep using the same face for because if you notice in the opening bit, you see my face, and obviously <clears throat> that will change over time, etc. <clears throat> with age and everything, you know. <clears throat> so I just wanted to, you know, I fancy something different rather than a what's it. I mean, I've still got a copy of the old one, so if people want me to go back to that, that's fine. But um, for now, I want to use the new one because I like it. And plus, I like the way that the logo, um, the, because it's, I think it's a pulse effect or something like that. <clears throat> and um, I like the way the blue flames come out the back of the logo. It looks like an eclipse, you know. I, mean? I thought it was quite cool. Anyway, so <clears throat> in this um, video, we'll be reacting to a new channel called Sandboxton. Um, I've seen some of the stuff before on Casper's site, but um, yes, we shall see what this video is like. This is um, he recorded this in his backyard, and what happens is a scary, scary video. It's okay, so uh, oh god, so out for. <clears throat> So without further ado, let's look, let's take a look, shall we? Are you ready to be scared, baffled, no and entertained all at the same time? In this video, you are about to see things that you won't believe, despite it all being caught on camera. My name is Sarah Chu. This is the sandbox and let's jump in. Statues aren't supposed to be alive, right? In our <clears> first <throat> video on the list, this statue that seems to be located in a cemetery didn't quite understand that logic, and it did this. It moved. The video is low resolution, recorded in the dark and from a very far distance away. Maximum potato quality, please. All factors that make it hard to distinguish <clears throat> what exactly was captured, but take a look at all of this and tell me what you make of this for yourself. Could that be one of those people who dress as statues? Whoa, wait, no way. Because who's so you don't get them going down the graveyard, you mean? Because <clears throat> it looks like it does look like it's made of cloth, doesn't it? <clears throat> Saw the arm go up. <clears throat> Whoa, That's what it could wait, be. No way. Wait, wait, wait. The arm. Right there. Well, to be fair, why would you do that? I mean, <clears throat> you know what I mean? You'd have to know that people walk through their red leaf for you to do that, wouldn't it? Otherwise, it would make sense. This is like it's moving, isn't it? As the staff prepared to lock up and head home, <clears throat> they noticed something eerie. A ghostly shadow lurking in the darkness. The shadowy figure moved with an otherworldly grace, appearing and disappearing without a trace. Join us as we analyze this spine-tingling footage, examining the possibility of a paranormal presence and unraveling the secrets behind this ghostly encounter. Moved like a bat. <clears throat> 
Again, it, it is one of my things that my pet my pet hates, and that is a preview. You know what I mean? Can they just give the intro and then show it? Because <clears throat> we now know not we now know what to look for. Bottom right corner. Flash. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it moved along the wall as well. I also went past the picture and I went... Zoom. <coughs> At least so far, stuff we haven't seen. Footage we haven't seen. In the heart of this bustling mall lies a chilling secret. Many say a ghostly presence. A young girl haunts the halls. Often unseen by the living, she roams these <coughs> corridors, mm. forever trapped between realms. Many believe the girl's spirit is connected to a tragic incident that occurred here years ago. It is said that she was lost in the chaos of a fire that engulfed the mall, claiming oh the lives of several unsuspecting shoppers. Now her spirit lingers, forever seeking solace. What do you make of this? Hmm. <coughs> <clears throat> and it could be just on Saturday, but we don't know, do we? Because <clears throat> it looks like they're sat on the side, isn't it? So, because this is a shopping mall as well, you're going to band up someone. Let's go. That bit is closed off to public. We don't know. In the vast realm of the unexplained, there are moments that defy our understanding of the world. Such is the case with a chilling encounter caught on camera. Late one night, an intrepid observer stumbled upon something extraordinary. An alien being, humanoid in shape, cautiously moved through the foliage, its steps both graceful and unnatural. The creature's <clears throat> elongated limbs and luminescent skin betrayed its unearthly origins. The video footage, captured in the dead of night, offers a haunting glimpse into a world beyond our own. As the creature vanished back into the shadows, it left behind a lingering sense of awe and wonder, forever etched in the minds of those fortunate enough to witness this extraordinary event. But if you look at the colour, I know it's, even if it's, I know it's a night vision, but plants don't look that weird. That looks like it's like a negative film. So we're not sure what the colour of the creature is or if it's a suit or we can't tell if it's a costume because all the, the footage is in a negative. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Because it's not just the creature that's glowing, the gra I think around it's bloody glowing because it's a negative exposure. But it's weird though. The footage we received was captured by a brave individual who stumbled upon this strange occurrence while driving through a quiet neighborhood at an ungodly hour. It's the wrong trousers, Let's Gromit. roll the clip and examine it closely. The first thing that strikes me about this figure is its unusual posture. It appears to be hunched over, almost as if burdened trousers. by an unseen weight. The way it remains motionless raises more questions than answers. Could this be a paranormal entity or something entirely different? It's the wrong trousers, Gromit. Or some stupendously drunk, like, oh man. <laughs> Witnesses were awestruck by the presence of this mysterious apparition, its luminous aura casting an otherworldly atmosphere. There's a star, we man. We bring you an extraordinary phenomenon <clears throat> captured in the beautiful fields of Brazil. No, it was not night fell upon this serene landscape, but there was a mesmerizing sight unfolded. <laughs> An ethereal human-shaped figure emitting a radiant white glow. The ethereal presence emitted a radiant glow, captivating all who gazed upon it. Local legends and ancient myths resonated with whispers of supernatural beings and celestial visitations. Was it a spiritual manifestation, a guardian angel, or a glimpse into a parallel dimension? It looks like one of those aliens from Cocoon. 
Star man waiting in the sky. Aqui, gente, ó. He's Acabou de baixar aqui, não pode ver aqui, ó. Olha aqui. Acabou de baixar. Baixou a gorinha aqui no Corre do Blade. Picture this, a breathtaking highway stretching out before you, the sun beginning its descent, casting a warm glow over the landscape. You're cruising along, jamming to your favorite tunes, <clears throat> when suddenly, out of the corner of your eye, you spot something extraordinary in the sky. A bona fide UFO. That's right, an unidentified flying object soaring through the heavens, defying all earthly explanations. Your heart starts pounding with excitement as you fumble to grab your phone, desperately wanting to capture this once-in-a-lifetime moment. You can't help but wonder who or what is piloting that strange vessel and what its purpose may be. What is that? What the is that? Like, that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Now don't, <clears throat> now, don't hate on me, but could that be a cloud? I mean, you can get, like, le le is it Lectuna clouds? Uh, uh, well, I mean... I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it isn't. Don't hate at me. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm not an absolute sceptic, you know, I'm very open-minded about stuff. But you know what I mean? <clears throat> but it does look a bit crisper, crisper shape. Yeah. The lights seem to possess an ethereal quality, pulsating and shifting in color, defying any logical explanation. They flicker with a gentle intensity, casting an enchanting glow that illuminates the interior of the vehicle. The comments section of the video becomes a hub of speculation, with viewers sharing their own theories and experiences <coughs> related to supernatural encounters. Isn't that police lights? Some suggest the lights could be the work of extraterrestrial beings, while others propose the existence of interdimensional portals. Skeptics, on the other hand, question the authenticity of the video, urging for a rational explanation grounded in science. A captivating video recently surfaced on the internet, featuring an ex... We say that, but oddly enough these days, the whole idea of parallel universes and other dimensions is quite feasible according to quantum mechanics, so don't say, just don't, don't make the scientists to be, to look too big, ignorant as it were, I mean. Extraordinary sight, you know I mean. a glowing orb of light hovering mysteriously in a living room. The footage has generated immense interest and speculation, challenging our understanding of the world. The orb's radiant glow fills the room, casting an enchanting and tranquil atmosphere. The video has sparked a lively debate among viewers, with some proposing supernatural explanations while others remain skeptical, attributing it to natural phenomena or trickery. Experts from different fields have offered their theories, ranging from rare atmospheric occurrences to quantum physics. Regardless of its true nature, the video ignites curiosity and reminds us of the fascinating mysteries that continue to intrigue us. Yeah, we can't just, <clears throat> you can't just throw out things like quantum physics without saying what do they mean? What aspect of quantum physics? You know what I mean? Because usually, like, if it's a natural phenomenon, that usually is like kind of something like ball lightning. So there has to be some sort of electricity. But the thing is about ball lightning is it affects the surrounding area. So if it's anything similar to that or something electromagnetic, it would affect the objects in the room, if that makes sense, or leave a mark or whatever. Yeah, it might, might do, might not. You know I mean? But it's like, because like ball lightning is will affect stuff that it touches. You know what I mean? So. I don't know, but if you have to say, oh, it could be quantum physics, it's like, you can't just throw that out there without following it up with what they mean, what part of that, you know what I mean? A dash cam recording from a late night drive on a deserted highway captures a spine chilling sight, a ghostly figure walking along the road. The ethereal apparition glides silently, its translucent form casting an eerie shadow in the darkness. The mysterious entity's movements defy explanation, leaving viewers bewildered and haunted by the encounter. As the video circulates online, it sparks intrigue and speculation <clears throat> about the supernatural realm that may exist just beyond our grasp. Because I'm not saying I'm, I mean, it could be digital distortion, but let's, let's just say if it was a ghost anyway. They're like, its behaviour def defies, you know, it's not actually normal, but it looks like it's a hitchhiker because you've got one of the arms up like that, so it's a ghost hitchhiker or a person who's hitchhike trying to hitchhike you. 
A jaw-dropping moment captured on camera, an astonishing incident unfolded when an unidentified individual suddenly plummeted from the sky. The bewildering footage has left viewers in a state of utter disbelief as the person defied gravity, descending rapidly towards the ground. No, that's not defying gravity, that's called gravity. <laughs> you mean, that's... And I hope it isn't, I hope... The, the, I hope it's a, a glitch, you know, and someone hasn't jumped from the window, because... Bear in mind, I'm not sure it's still common today, I don't live in those sort of countries. Because, well, it used to be quite common in America, where people... If sank fell through financially, or, you know, stock market went to shit... They would literally jump from a skyscraper to commit suicide. And trust me, falling from a roof. I mean, no, no, no disrespect to the channel, but it's, that's a silly thing to say. Someone falling, falling from a skyscraper isn't defying gravity. They're plummeting to their death. You know what I mean? 2011, 10 years after our world changed forever, in some small way, we wanted to change it back. In a chilling video captured by a surveillance camera during the late hours of the night. It could be a bird flying past camera as well. Because that's not a window, that's a screen. <clears throat> An eerie figure can be seen sprinting through the frame. The unsettling footage has left viewers intrigued and perplexed as the ghostly individual swiftly moves through the darkness. Its identity and purpose remain shrouded in mystery, captivating the imagination and sparking discussions about the supernatural. The it's brief but haunting glimpse potato. has ignited <clears throat> curiosity, leaving <clears throat> many questioning the boundaries of our physical world and the existence of spectral beings. I mean, the problem is also it's pixelated, but they're saying, in, like I said in a video ages ago, I learned something interesting from a friend of mine that was... Um, if you're wearing something that's grey or something close to that colour spectrum, you actually blend in better. You're actually better camouflaged, and you're better. You better blend in the dark and stuff. So, with a camera that's just all grey, most of it's grey, you could actually walk through. You could walk past a CCTV camera, like say for example, this you walk for the scene right, and if you're wearing grey, like joggers or all that sort of stuff, you would actually your body would disappear, would blend in. So it could be someone jogging by in a dark hoodie or something. I mean, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying that's what could possibly do it. And it's potato quality. <clears throat> Ooh, that's it. Well, that was a short one, but yeah, that was quite good. I'm still, I think, you know, me. Some are interesting, some are strange. Like, I mean, that UFO could be a cloud. But it, again, it's too crisp. But then again, cloud, you can get some really pretty weird clouds out there. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, Sam Boxton. I've, I think I think Casper Sight and various other channels reacted to it, but I haven't reacted to it before. I thought, oh, now I saw it from my feed because I'm subscribed. Um, Hummy. And I saw a pop in my feed, so I thought, oh, do I I'm react to that one? So I thought I'd do that one. But yeah, <clears throat> I hope you liked it. A bit of a short video, but I know. But um, yeah, let me know what you let me let me know what your thoughts are on the on the footage you're, you're seeing. Let me know what you think. Um, do you agree with some of my assessments? Do you think it's some of the stuff's digital distortion and that sort of stuff? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like because just a small click for you, but it goes along with helping me. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. It costs you nothing, and it'd be great to have you here. So, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.